Hi foodie lovers, this is the Hakuhoro G5518. It's made out of Kazan scroll, which is the type of scroll named after the Kazan region in Russia. A paintbrush website also refers to Kazan scroll as brown scroll. I'm thinking this type of scroll is what they used in the discontinued Chikuhoro Kiwami set for the second largest powder brush. I've been wanting to try Hakuhoro's Kazan scroll for quite some time now, and keep in mind that although I prefer Chikuhoro and Koyuro scroll, I'm still open to trying out Hakuhoro scroll, especially since this type, this hair type is more, more rare. I did see it in Japan last year and it felt soft. I thought it resembled red scroll, so I'll compare it to some of my red scroll brushes, but keep in mind that they're not exactly the same hair type. Um, the head is round, short, and dense, but still flexible. And when scroll brushes are really dense, they're still flexible since the hairs are so thin. Let me just show you how flexible it is. It's quite flexible still. And sorry, I'm working with like natural lighting today and it's kind of not that good. And here is where it gets weird. The hair does not feel like any other squirrel I've felt. Like it kind of feels, I guess it does kind of feel like red squirrel, but um, they don't feel silky or look as glossy as other squirrel hairs. And it's, I guess it's really hard to tell in sliding, but they seem to also be unconditioned, just like my last Shoshu Long Red Squirrel Blush Brush which I will compare to here. This is the one I got in my last order and I said that it also felt unconditioned so it's not as glossy either. Um, when I brush this brush against the back of my hand, I can hear a crunchy noise, which is, I'm not sure if you can hear it in the video, because I have something going on on the right and it won't turn off, but me. Yeah, so you heard me. I said crunchy <laughs> and it actually really weirds me out. So this is like one point taken off of the brush already. Um, it's labeled as a powder brush and the description says it's easy to use as a highlighter brush. So I did try it out for three things, blush, highlight, and contour. The head, see how dense it is. For blush, I thought it would apply just the right amount of product and blend decently since it's so dense. So how I applied the blush is I, I, dot, I dotted the blush onto my cheek. So I dotted it like once here and then I tried to blend. So that's typically what I do for like shapes like these, um, pom-pom shapes. And the brush over diffused the blush, which resulted in applying to a larger surface area and not as pigmented in a smaller area. So normally I would like targeted blush, so I would preferably want something like, let's say like here, but with this, brush it actually applied like like a very large in a very large diffused fashion so it's like this as opposed to like here if you like diffused blush in a large surface area then you'll like this brush personally i do not and for highlight scroll isn't my favorite since it doesn't pick up nearly as much powder as goat nor does it blend well and and again, I like targeted highlight, um, so this just doesn't cut it for me. Like, here's the cheekbone right here, right? So I want something like, like, it doesn't have to be like exactly in this targeted area. Like uh, the other brushes that I have that are a little bit larger, the J5521 is not that small, but it still applies in a targeted area. It's okay to go out the lines a little bit, but once it starts hitting like my cheek area, I don't like that. And so this does hit my cheek area and I don't, I'm not a fan. Okay, and for contour, let me just move this. 
A friend said that she uses this for contour, so I tried it out. I don't normally use round brushes for contour since I like angled brushes, like the G504 for that. And the round shape couldn't apply the contour I wanted it to. It was too low. And I think because the way that the head is bundled, so I tried like this, but then maybe the way that the hair like disperses when you apply it, it, it was just like too low for me. And the contour wasn't pigmented enough, obviously because it's scroll hair and not goat hair. And here, I'll try, I'll, sh I'll compare this with my Shosho Long Custom Red Scroll Blush Brush. So you can see the Shosho Long hairs are longer, head is larger, and I, I like, I like the Shosho Long one, like the quality is great. It doesn't feel or hear, it doesn't sound like crunchy or anything. The handle's beautiful, it's ebony. It's like um, the Chinese fans call them the eggplant handle. So yeah, I do really like the brush, but I don't use it that often because Red Scroll just doesn't apply that much product or nor does it pick up as much product, but I just wanted to compare it with that one. And so after trying this, I won't buy any more Kazan scroll brushes. It was nice to try one. And so overall, if you like soft and diffused makeup application, then you'll like this. It's just not my cup of tea. Okay, so thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.